Hey everyone, so today we're going to go over how to replace a tubeless tire on an electric scooter. If you're looking to replace a tube tire or put on a solid tire, check out our other videos. Uh, this is going to be just for the tubeless. So first thing you'll want to do is remove any air that's left in the tire if it's not already deflated. And then you can go around with your hands and just try to separate the tire from the rim. It'll make it a little bit easier to get off. Once you do that, you'll want to have a pair of tire pries or some similar type of lever to get underneath in between the rim and the tire. And you'll want to get a piece of the tire over top of the rim. And once you have the first tire pry inserted, you can come through with the second. It's usually easier with two people, but if it's just yourself, uh, it's definitely possible. It's a little bit tricky. You'll want to get about a third of the tire off the rim and then you can remove the prize and use your hands to get the remaining piece off. So the next step and one of the most important is preparing the new tire to make it easier to put onto the rim. So we're going to run through a couple different options. The first, which is the most simple, just running the tire under hot water and applying dish soap to the inner and outer edges of the tire to make it easier to put onto the rim by acting as a lubricant. The next one, which we actually prefer if you have the equipment, is heating the tire in a stovetop pot for about three to five minutes on high heat. Just be careful that the water doesn't come to a full boil and make sure to pull it out with something other than your hands. A third option that you'll often come across in online tutorials is heating the tire in the microwave. We don't recommend this just based on the fumes that it's going to admit into your home and the fact that you can also cause damage to the tire itself when heating in the microwave. So once you have the tire heated up, you're going to want to wear gloves because the rubber will still be hot. From here you want to twist it back and forth a few times to give the rubber some added flexibility for getting onto the rim. So next you're going to want to insert the tire over top of the rim. You can start with either side of the rim, it doesn't really matter, and it should go on relatively easy using just your hands. Now the other side is going to be a little bit more tricky. Again, if you have two people, it could be easier. If it's just yourself, you're probably going to want to use your foot as leverage to hold the tire into place as you go around the rim and use your hands to push the tire over top of the rim. If you heated up the tire beforehand, you can usually use just your hands to get it over top of the rim, which is the recommended method. But if it's still giving you trouble, you can use those tire pries from the first step of the video to lever the tire onto the rim. While this method works well, you just want to be careful that you're not being too rough with the tire prize as you can cause damage to the bead of the tire, which will make it harder to achieve a seal with the rim when you go to inflate it. Using your foot as leverage to hold the wheel down, you can insert two tire pries under the tire and lever them both up at the same time to get it fully seated around the rim. At this point, your tire is ready to inflate. But some people will choose to insert tire sealant into the rim first to achieve a greater seal and prevent flats in the future. Check out our other video on how to do that. For the next step, this is where you're going to need a high powered air compressor. You're going to want to start off on a high PSI setting, usually between 120 and 150 PSI, and give the tire a quick burst of air to set the initial seal around the bead of the tire and the rim. From here you can adjust your compressor back down to a riding range of between 50 and 60 psi. Insert on the valve to equalize the pressure and from here you're good to go to reinstall your tire. Be sure to check out some of our other videos for installing tube tires, solid tires, and using tire sealant to fix and prevent flats. Thanks again for watching. 